Hello, friends of our studies in Philadelphia, New York, and beyond. On behalf of Joseph Lennon, director of the Villanova University Center for Irish Studies, celebrating its 40th year, we would like to welcome you to our virtual St. Patrick's Day celebration. My name is Caitlin Warblow, and this is Chris Ranney. We're traditional Irish musicians and Broadway musicians here in New York City. Usually at this time of year, traditional Irish musicians are running from gig to gig, but on this St. Patrick's Day, we're staying inside just like all of you are to help make sure we are all safe and healthy. So we've put together this all-star lineup of Irish traditional musicians, singers, and dancers recorded all over the world just earlier today. I'm so excited and honored to be a part of this group of musicians you'll hear tonight. We've got Eileen Ivers, Kevin Crawford, Patrick Ducey, and Killian Vallely from Lunasa, Niall Vallely and Karen Casey from Solace, Joni Madden of Cherish the Ladies, New York City's own champion fiddler Dylan Foley, as well as some steps from Riverdance and Lord of the Dance artists Caitlin Golding and Garrett Coleman. All of these artists recorded videos for you on short notice just hours ago, and we're really grateful to them. I'll play a quick set of tunes to get this concert started off. Thank you for listening, stay healthy out there, and happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Eileen Ivers here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you guys are keeping well. Well, we wish we could be with you, but we are practicing our social distancing. But we wish you a very happy St. Patrick's Day, and we are proudly wearing of our green. Right, Aiden? <laughs> 
We love our green. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Keep the faith. Stay well. How's it going, everybody? Uh, we're here giving an impromptu virtual performance here uh, on behalf of the Villanova University Centre for Irish Studies, who are celebrating their 40th anniversary. Um, they're making some virtual videos available for this St. Patrick's Day, and uh, it's very Good that they're doing that because so many events have been cancelled around the world and the Villanova Centre for Irish Studies is hosting some of these big events. So I think it kicked off at 3.30 and we're going to be happy to play for you here now. We've got Patrick Ducey, Killian Valley, and me Kevin Crawford from Lunasa and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Woohoo! Okay, three...
There you go, three jigs. Hope you enjoyed those. And uh, three kind of popular enough tunes, uh, session tunes at this point. First one there called the First Pint, written by our bandmate Colin Farrell. And uh, that's probably him texting Pat there. He's looking for writers, is he? And then there's a second tune there from Charlie Lennon, The Flying Wheelchair, and the last one, The Old Reliable Slip Jig, um, from Willie Clancy, the youngest of Terry Crossan. Um, we might chance a little something, St. Patrick's Day, celebrated all over the world, of course, by Irish and wannabe Irish and Celts and so forth. Uh, three Breton dances for you here, <coughs> and uh, hope you like them. They're a little little slower than what we just played.
enjoyed that. Special St. Patrick's Day kind of uh, rendition of the Breton dances there. Um, I suppose it'd be nice to mix it up and play something featuring some whistles maybe for the day that's in it. And uh, a big shout out on our own uh, kind of behalf here to all of the the people who supported us during the early part of our tour. We were very, very lucky to complete uh, kind of a two thirds of it. Um, so we know that we didn't do too bad. Um, and a massive shout out to those that weren't fortunate enough or ourselves especially as well, who weren't fortunate enough to finish out the tour. Um, hope this is somewhat of a compensation. So we'll try a couple of tunes from uh, one of the newest albums here. Um, the Raven's Rock is the first tune, written by Killian. Second tune is one of mine. It's a little reel called Rubies. And then we might go all trad on the end with uh, a tune called The Hut in the Bog, which is uh, one of Patrick Ducey's favourites. So listen out for him especially, yeah? <coughs> yeah, but um, give it out there. <laughs> Virtual world we care like one, two, three,
Oh, well, there you have it almost. Uh, a few tunes for St. Patrick's Day. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little uh, distraction, I suppose, from everything else. And we're going to leave you with three little tunes, uh, a march or two, and then a reel. And yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Um, and we'll see you next year, hopefully. Um, we're going to finish with these. The first one's called the Bull March, Bull's March. Um, the second one is the 40th anniversary march. And the third is a reel associated with the Armagh Pipers Club uh, in Armagh, of course. And it's called the 50th anniversary reel. So on behalf of Patrick, Killian, and myself, fair play to you. Talk to you soon.
Thank you. Hello, folks. How are you going? Um, I hope you're all well and safe. Um, thank you to Caitlin Warbelow for asking me to do a few songs here for Villanova. And I hope it helps uh, this St. Patrick's Day. I suppose we're living in unprecedented times and things are very tough for a lot of people. So um, uh, music is one thing that we do have to help us and it builds community and it builds compassion and empathy and it brings us together. And so um, if you're at home uh, listening, you can sing along or, or do whatever you like, hum if you don't know the words. Um, it's really just a small little um, present for today and you know um, while things can get worse they can also get better okay thank you uh, oh uh, this first song is uh, called Bob Brain Bob Brain Bob Brain Bob Brain Bob Brain Bob Brain like we got a little break in the rain and uh, normally if it's raining you can hear it on the roof here so that's good um so i might sing a song called the rocks of Fawn. okay and you know uh, uh again i can't emphasize enough uh, singing is great for you it boosts the immune system and uh you can sing with your kids or yourself or in the mirror or with the hairbrush or whatever um, makes you feel better uh, but definitely after you've sung you always feel better okay come all you loyal heroes wherever you may be don't hide Till the dawn, I'll do that. 
to plow the rocks upon my car's a tailing in Sweeney boy for you have me nearly washed you were sitting by the fireside with your duty Stockings they are thin. My heart it is always trembling for fear that they might give in. My heart it is always trembling from the clear daylight till the dawn. to plow the rocks upon and I wish that Queen of England she would call for me in time I'll place me in love a gentleman all in my youth and my prime I would fight for Ireland's glory for all the clear daylight till the dawn. And I never will return again for to plow the rocks of bomb. Well. Thank you. Hello folks, happy St. Patrick's Day. The strangest St. Patrick's Day for me as I haven't been home for 40 years for St. Patrick's Day. I'm Joni Madden, I'm the leader of Cherish the Ladies and I'm here with my great friend Dylan Foley, one of America's finest fiddle players and guitarist and All-Ireland champion many times over. And he lives five minutes away from me. We're recording right now from Yonkers and Dylan is here in the Bronx, whose wife is holding the, uh, the camera. <laughs> So we're going to play a few tunes for all of you folks who couldn't get out on St. Patrick's Day. And I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> we're trying to uh, do some social distancing and we're working away with it. But anyway, enjoy these couple of reels for you. We're going to do three reels. The first one is called The Boys of the Lock. The second tune is called The Bag of the Spuds. And the last tune is a tune that uh, my dad taught everybody. And it's a beautiful reel that he learned from a fiddle player from Donegal named Johnny Darty. Hope you enjoy these. One, two, three.
Day. Um, a kind of unusual one for everybody, I think. Um, um, but I guess having some music is a good way to um, pass this day, even if we're confined to our own, uh, our own homes. Um, I'm going to start off this little bit with a few jigs. Um, the first one of these is a tune from Armagh, where I come from, and it's called The Boys of Tan Bagui. And uh, the other two jigs are a couple of tunes from County Donegal. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great. Thanks very much, Colonel Um uh, I'm going to play a slow tune now. A bit of a, a bit of a air that I composed a, a few years back. It's called the Singing Stream, and I'm going to play some reels after that uh, to to finish things off. Um, I think those reels are going to end up being a, a good old piping tune called the Collier's Reel, and a tune composed by the great Ed Reedy, a fiddle player from. Curly Cavan originally he spent a lot of his life in uh, Philadelphia. Um, it's called the Whistler from Russ Lane. Okay, thanks very much, Gail. <laughs>
again for listening and uh, look after yourselves and I hope you have a great uh, night the rest of St. Patrick's Day. Best of luck. Bye. Hello again Philadelphia University. Joni Madden and Dylan Foley here with you once again. We're going to play a beautiful slow air. This one is hundreds of years old and it comes all the way from County Waterford in Ireland. The famous place where they make the fantastic crystal, Waterford Crystal. And this is a tune called Sleeve Gal Gua. And I hope you enjoy this. And we'll follow it up with a couple of reels, one written by the great accordion player Billy McComiskey from Brooklyn. And we'll follow it up with a, another lovely old tune. Hope you will think of that when we get there. Happy St. Patrick's Day once again.
Patrick's Day, right, Dylan? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Villanova. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Woohoo!